It's hot. I'm already sweating and I got a sweat stash. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. How's it going? I can't breathe today, but what else is new? Also, I wanted to say I posted a recipe, like my own little recipe for a an iced vegan eggnog latte on my Insta stories a few days ago, and all of you guys loved it. You couldn't wait to try it, and some of you guys did try it, and you liked it. Maybe I'll have to make like some coffee recipes sometime in like a video or something. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. I'm wearing this hoodie that I got a long time ago from Fi, F-Y-E. They sent it to me a while ago and it has Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. So I thought that was kind of fitting since we're doing a what I got for Christmas. It's the day after Christmas. I'm filming this video. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. I hope you guys are having a good December. It's almost over. 2020 is almost here. I just want to say thanks to everyone who has hung around my channel for this year. I really appreciate it so much. Why did I think it was a good idea? Wearing a beanie, wearing a hoodie, and drinking hot coffee. I think I will probably try to film a little life update for you guys tonight. So I'm like getting, un getting unready for the day, even though I'm really not ready. Have you seen those videos where people like take off their makeup or their they wash their face or do like their nighttime routine or just lay in bed. Coming up on my channel is going to be male videos. I already have them edited. Ooh, that girl's wearing some cute pants out there. I also have a bath and body haul, like winter Christmas haul candle thing coming up. Do you want to do a video? Sorry guys, you guys are probably like, just tell us what you got for Christmas. Um, but I also want to do a video for my goal board. I kind of want to talk about like things that I achieved, things that I didn't, and then we'll do another video of new goals. So yeah, let's just get started. I've actually never made one of these videos before. I'm rambling on too much. I got a few gifts. I got a few gifts for myself. This year is the year of Sam learning to love herself, learning that if you want something, you have to do it yourself to make yourself happy. More of that to come. It's just crazy like how much stress people go through to Christmas gift give christmas shop enough rambling i'm grateful for what i had i don't ever need presents but thanks everyone what i got myself i got a new record this is the movie score for josh hasty's candy corn a horror movie that was in the making for a while um my buddy josh hasty he was on my podcast a long time ago if any of you old halloween happy friends remember that let me know but um, it's a great horror movie. Really liked it. it. Came out this year, so if you're looking for something new to watch, definitely check out Candy Corn. Super excited. I know they did this for the crowdfunding, but I saw a few weeks ago that Burning Witches, they were shipping them out soon. So I was like, well shoot, let me order mine so they can also ship that out. And it shipped from the UK. I finally got it. And I'm really excited. So yeah, check it out. It's a great film. It's like perfect for Halloween. It's like the perfect Halloween horror movie. Print. And then on the back, it has a letter from Josh just talking about what Candy Corn went through and how he really enjoyed making the music for it, the score for it. It also includes a digital download, which is great. So let's see what this record looks like. Whoa. Oh, I'm so excited. Like the whole time I was watching this movie, I was like, I can't wait to get my hands on this record. Look at that beautiful orange. I love it so much. Definitely check it out, guys. I'll kind of include this in the life update, but at the beginning of November, like I'm always working out on and off. On and off. So in November, I did really good. December, like after my birthday, I kind of slacked a little. I really want it to become like such a good habit of mine to like really take care of my health and not just put it on the back burner because I'm getting old. Not old like I'm old, but obviously my body's getting older. Your body's just not how it is when you're a teenager. I was debating, should I get an Apple Watch since I have Apple products or should I get a Fitbit? And I kind of researched just a little bit like what's more health beneficial, more focused on health. A lot of the articles I came across said Fitbit. Didn't get the Apple Watch because I, I get overwhelmed with notifications on my phone. Like when people put me in group chats, you know who you are. You guys give me anxiety. No, not really, but you do. Notifications on my phone. That's like the first thing I have to do in the morning, which is sick. I want to just clear my notifications so I can be clear for the day. So I decided to go with the Fitbit because I just did 
didn't want it to be like an actual phone on my wrist which I didn't realize that when you hook up the Bluetooth, you get the calls on the Fitbit, which I just experienced for the first time this afternoon. I was like, maybe I should have got the Apple Watch, but I didn't want it to be my miniature phone on my wrist. I got myself a Fitbit. It's the Fitbit Versa 2, I believe. I'm still figuring it out. I don't know. I feel like on the website, it looked a little bit smaller. I feel like the Apple Watch is a little bit smaller. Maybe it's just because I got the black wristband, so it looks really bulky. Because I've always been a fan of wearing watches. I know people think that's really weird because you have a cell phone on you all the time, but guys, I try to have my cell phone in the other room when I'm not like working or anything like that. Last night was the first night that I slept with it and tried to track my sleep. I scored like an 82%. My deep sleep was only like for two hours. I don't know if that's good or bad. I need to look into it. Moving along, got a few things from Joe's family and I will go ahead and show those. Got this adorable sign from one of his sisters, Trisha. And it just says, I am so blessed to live in a world with pumpkin spice. I love this so much. It's very fallish. I thought this was really cute. It's like farmhouse, which I like. Candy things and stuff like that from his aunt Joanne. And then she also got me this frosted balsam candle, which I'm really excited about because I already burned through my balsam bath and body candle. From his sister Michelle, she, her and her fiance Eric were shopping around like a few weeks ago. I saw this vintage Halloween happy sign. Happy Halloween sign. It just has these jack-o'-lanterns on it. It says happy Halloween. And she asked if I wanted it. And at the time I didn't see the message and she got it anyway. So I thought that was really nice. It's from William Sonoma. Then last year she had also gotten me a few of the Hallmark keepsake Halloween ornaments. She got me another one for this year. This is the 2019. This is Frank on a guitar and it plays music and it lights up and um, earlier in the Halloween late season, we saw the collection of these ornaments and we we're like, oh, that's so cool. And we just didn't end up getting them. I'm excited to add this to my tree. And then this next gift, which made me cry from Joe's brother, Dylan, made me a photo album. I started crying because it has like the first picture of when I moved here with me, Nolly and Raven. And I went to, um, a meditating class one night just like a few weeks ago and the card that I pulled they do tarot cards too it was a peace card and it just really hit like my heart and I took a picture of it and I had posted it on my Facebook and I just want to read it real quick so so the card I pulled was peace and it was a cat card where the cats were the different tarot card the cat's name was Serena peace meet Serena she will guide you to the sanctuary at the center of your being the place of stillness in the midst a flowing river of life. She knows the language of forgiveness and acceptance. If you are quiet for a moment and let your heart soften and open, she can teach you these true words so that you may rest your mind in the abode of peace. We cannot control the actions of others, but our perspectives, our feelings, and our choices remain in our power. Choose to be at peace even as you work towards resolution, evolution, and change. I first opened this, I started bawling because immediately I saw this photo. I'm gonna start crying now. I saw this photo of my mom and me that, that was like the last Christmas. Not that she was alive. It was the last Christmas that, it was the Christmas before the Christmas she had brain surgery, which like completely like, it was, a disaster but this was like when she was doing good and she would like she was still having she was still going through treatment and stuff for lung cancer and like we knew it wasn't curable he also printed out the Salem photos of Joe and I and then this was a collage that I made of my mom like me and my mom's photos since she was like a little girl then growing up oh you guys can't even see it so take photos of you and your parents because you're not gonna freaking regret it so do it there's like a lot of pictures that mean so much to me there's like some of like me and Joe and then me and Crystal when she visited. That's my best friend. And then pictures of the mom. But it's just a really sweet gift. Here's me and my mom. That was like on my birthday a while ago. Dylan, if you're watching this, this gift just means so much to me. I got from Joe's parents. They're always spoiling me with like the cutest little Halloween trinkets. They got me this cute little bag. And I love these bags so much. You guys know I collect totes. And they're really good for grocery shopping too. And just when you're like going somewhere when you need a bag. Halloween blanket. And it has a bunch of little Halloween cats on it. It also comes with a pair of Halloween socks. Like, this is like the perfect Halloween cozy gift set. Am I right? 
or am I right? Also got me this little vintage kitty. Look at how cute this is. Just like, it's kind of unusual. I don't know if you'll like it. And I'm like, I absolutely love it. It's a planter. Um, I've been wanting to get into growing plants. I have two plants that Joe got me from like the store during October. They're just like little gift plants that you give to someone they've been growing and i'm soon gonna have to depot them and plant them into something else well maybe i could do that with this little guy so adorable look at him he's cute so thanks to them we'll go ahead and get into what joe got me for christmas this creature from the black lagoon patch i don't have this i have so many creature patches but this is one i don't have so i really like that and then he also got me this creature figure. I need to look more into it. I know it is from a toy company from Playmates Toys. Sorry, I gotta do this so my camera focuses in. So I love that. <laughs> we actually, there's a shop here in say I'm not even, no. I just, there's a shop where they have some cool stuff, but nothing's ever on sale. Like they never want to sell it to you. So we stopped going in there because the lady's not nice at all. We saw it in the window and Joe's like, do you want to see how much she's charging? I'm like, no, she's probably not even really selling it. But he ended up getting it and I was like, she better not ripped you off. But I guess it wasn't her working that day. This cute fall shirt says fall leaves, pumpkin spiced, hot coffee, cozy blankets, bonfires, the perfect fall shirt. It's cropped a little bit. This is from Target, I think. Got me this Halloween baseball cap. I think he said this was from Die With Your Boots On. Sorry, I just wiped snot out of my nose. I thought this was really cute and I have that baseball jacket from them that says Salem and it's such a cute jacket. I love it so much. I'm excited for this. Got these from Die With Your Boots On but the company is Strange Colt. You've probably seen them on Instagram. They do the Halloween shoes every year like a different um a different collection. I don't know if you guys remember my jack-o'-lantern creepers that I wore a lot this Halloween season. They're so cute. So now I have another pair of Halloween shoes and I absolutely love these so much. These are the Chelsea. Look at how freaking dope these shoes are. Perfect because I love this material. It's like super shiny and reflective and then you have the spider webbing on the back and then on the shoelace tabs you have these bat wings i'm really excited for these and then he did get me one last thing the most prized possession i will have owned i lost denali in november and i say lost and some people are like you lost her but she had cancer and it wasn't treatable and it had finally like she just wasn't doing good after a while and I didn't want her to suffer anymore so we had to say goodbye. She was my best friend. She was like the best dog that I've ever had and I just miss her so much. It just hurts my heart every single day because I can't even believe that she's gone. She was just so magical and she just had like this confidence about her that I wish like I wish I had her soul because she was just so special she really took care of me i really took care of her like we had such a mutual like respect for each other i'll probably talk about that in my life update too so prepare for that this canvas and i just cry every time i look at it but anyway it's a canvas of denali it's like one of those ones where it looks like a painting that they can do from a picture i just love it so much and she has her little spooky collar on i don't know where i'm gonna hang it um, but I just love it so much. Like, it just literally makes me cry every time I look at it. Like, I just feel like it's her. Like, I just wish I was holding her right now, you know? Sorry, I got sweat, stash, snot. But it also came with a Christmas ornament, and I just thought this was so beautiful. And I hung it on the tree, and like, every time I look at it, I just start crying, because I just miss her so much. I think that's all I... That's all I have for this video of what I got for Christmas. Did you guys get anything for Christmas that you were wanting? Did you get yourself something for Christmas? Are you just like, eh, Christmas shmish shmish? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links are listed down below. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, yada yada yada. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas, a great holiday, whatever you may be celebrating with you and your family. If you're not celebrating, well, I just hope you're having a good month. I love you all so much. I hope you were able to enjoy time with family. If your family's crazy, I hope you were able to enjoy time with yourself. Let me know if you started you, season two, because it just started. I'm like on episode three. I'm trying to 
pace myself, but I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, but when is it Halloween?